Guys, a little different video today since I wanted to go more technical. CRM data is a multi-billion dollar problem that 90% of mid-market companies actually can't solve. It's probably the biggest revenue bottleneck when a company is going from startup to scale up because it affects all the organization. Salespeople can't actually prospect the right data because the CRM is a mess. Marketers can't segment properly all the campaigns and leadership does not have any visibility. Companies usually spend six figures in actually fixing the CRM that prevents a company to actually grow and is the real bottleneck to actually become a proper major organization. In this video, I'm going to show you how everything changed with Play.com, how I was able to actually fix the biggest CRM problems using a couple of clay tables and how you can actually do the same with a couple of clay tables. So let's dive into it. Okay, here we are. We are at the center of the organization. Here's the CRM you're probably using or Salesforce or HubSpot. Any other CRM is fine with Salesforce and HubSpot is actually better because you have all the integrations ready and it's well integrated into Clay. So first of all, your data is broken. You're actually having problem because of missing variables, because of manual imports that every time has different variables from fields, maybe from the website that you have B2B email, B2C emails, you have different dates, you have duplicates, you have company duplicates, you have people duplicates, and you can't actually trust your own data turning the CRM from an asset to a liability. And arguably the real biggest problem every company I got in touch actual experience is job changes. Job changes, guys, is huge. It's huge because uh, especially in tech, especially in 2025 with this crazy job market, every year 20% of the workforce actually change job. Think about it. With just a couple of years, your CRM data is totally trash because it's full of records that were working at the companies that you have in CRM. But now they should be new contacts and the past contacts are duplicates. So the CRM is arguably totally broken for more than 50% of all the companies in the world. How can you fix this? And uh, I guess it's really a problem all over the organization because first, basically prospect very bad accounts. Uh, leadership has no visibility. Forecasting is broken. Email bounces because you have old emails that no longer exist. Low emails campaign performance because uh, you have maybe no time zone, you have bad emails, you have bad data, and everything is bouncing, right? Then marketers can't segment campaigns, both email, both prospecting, both ads campaign. And CRM is a real liability, a real liability because there are companies spending six figures in actually solving CRM problem, especially duplicates and data cleaning problems for job changes. Most of the times it's a recurring problem. And uh, moreover, if you're actually able to identify these job changes, this is an amazing pipeline use case. You will generate new pipeline because let's say that you are in touch and you're working with 100, 1000 active clients, active accounts. You are probably working with three, four people per account. So you have thousands or hundreds of people you're in touch. If these people change job and you have a good relationship, they are the perfect person to actually evangelize your service into a new company. So they are ex-champions changing job that you can actually create and engineer warm introduction to your account executive. So you will fix CRM data and it's an amazing pipeline use case to actually grow your own revenue. Having said this, so let's jump into the job changes problem. So first of all, there are two cases. First, when a company can't really address the job changes problem, so they have no way to actually solve it. Or sometimes I find that many companies actually have user gem that can actually solve this problem. User gem, unfortunately, is uh, not enough. First of all, it's pretty expensive just for this use case will actually cost at least $30,000 per year, I guess. And secondly, uh, it's not really able to catch uh, all the job changes, it's not really accurate in terms of enrichment, so your CRM will be still full of bad data. 
how can I so I sold this for many companies first of all I sold this using clay.com connecting it to upspot or Salesforce and creating a routine that actually keep the CRM clean let's dive into it let's see how you can solve this and how you can apply this to your own organization so first of all you have to identify what are the reports in the Salesforce in upspot they are dynamic lists that contain your own uh, contacts and leads you have to connect these contact and leads to clay and clay actually has the features in Salesforce is called uh, import reports to actually pull all the reports from Salesforce into clay and you can actually activate a schedule so there will be an automated way to actually get new data so it's an automated play you don't have to manually update it how does it work basically you're pulling all the data from in this case Salesforce into different clay tables into the clay tables you actually have a couple of columns they can actually understand if the contact is still in the same job position because if it changed job what will happen is we can mark the old contact as left company for example let's say that there's a Michael working for Adidas that now moved into Apple uh, we double check with clay and I'll show you in a moment how this looks like into a clay table basically it will mark me as oh, okay Michael actually changed job from Adidas to Apple mark the old Michael Michael at Adidas as a left company look up if new contact exists in Salesforce look up both uh, as in the form of a contact and in the form of a lead update new lead or update uh, look up if the account actually exists in the case the account exists create a lead move everything into a Salesforce campaign and from there you can actually activate like in the way I told you before with the usually sales love or outreach your own SDR or account executive team so that you can actually even create a new revenue cool how does it look inside of a clay table it looks like more or less this way so basically you have to connect all your reports to one clay table so here for example we have a lot of reports you can connect all of them in just one table or in different tables it really depends on the use case and what happens usually is this here on the left you can actually create a new you can pull a new Salesforce report this way it's called import records from Salesforce you can choose your own report basically and all the data will show up here right then what you have to do is uh, use Clayagent to actually find the LinkedIn profile of, uh, of the contact, checking the email. And the email is amazing because usually in an email you have name, surname, and the domain. So the match rate between the email and the LinkedIn profile is extremely high. Clayagent can actually find the LinkedIn URL. From the LinkedIn URL and the company email, you can actually find with this enriched person enrichment what is uh, the LinkedIn profile of each contact and you will have all the possible company and personal information from there you can actually check if the most recent experience is the same of the company that you have in the CRM if it is not of course it's this case the company the contact actually changed the job and you have to do all the routine if you still work in the same company nothing will happen and in a month the schedule will run again so let's see how does it work so we find LinkedIn URL we enrich the profile I have a clay agent prompt that check if it is still working in the same company comparing the re most recent experience with the company that you have on Salesforce it check the current month and year because I only want job changes in the last three months why because uh, this is an automated play so if after a month uh, there would be a change I want to be sure that it was only a change in the recent three months or four months right then uh, what I want to do is uh, I created two columns to actually double check if they change up recently because I want to be really sure that I have no duplicates I have no problems uh, and uh, more than 99% of enrichment is actually true because I want to have a really clean CRM if the person really changed job and changed job in the last three months I moved the old contact into this common clay table in this clay table what I actually doing is uh, this is the old email this is the LinkedIn profile the cool part about this is that email change because from Adidas you move into Apple but the LinkedIn profile does not change and the thing that is really saving us is this 
unique identifier, which is the linked URL. From there, we have to look up the old lead, get the ID, mark old contact as left company, and rich person get all the information, company domain, title, blah, blah, blah. Waterfall enrichment, we find the new email so that thanks to the new email, we can create a new contact or even a new account and finally push everything into a sequence. Different Salesforce reports. This works automatically every month. If you go here, these are the reports. If you check here, there's a schedule that rerun the disenrichment, a rich person and the clay agent. So that every month I will double check if the company that I have on Salesforce is the same as the one that is really on LinkedIn. Every month there's a check because people can actually change job very fast. And when you figure out the check, you will basically move everything into this table and we'll do all the routine changing job, old contact, new contact, and actually delivering a very, very cool, clean CRM. On top of this, of course, you can connect SalesLoft, you can set the new lead into a SalesLoft sequence or outreach, or you can even automate the outreach with smart lead or hey rich or in the way that you prefer. So guys, uh, that's it. That's how you solve your CRM problem, how clay is actually extremely key to drive efficiency, very good revenue processes, and how you can really turn a huge liability, a six figures liability into a strategic asset that can allow your company to really scale. In this video, we actually got a better understanding of how can you leverage clay to turn the CRM and the revenue processes from a liability into a real asset. In the last five years, I've implemented go-to-market and RevOps processes in the fastest growing scale-ups like Vidyard and Terramind. If you want to check together if I can do the same with your own organization, check the link in the description, a book, an assessment call with me. I'll see you over there.